Hi everyone, welcome back to the Dahlia Society. Thank you for joining me today. My name's Kristen, if we haven't met yet, and today I'm gonna show you some naughty new fabrics that I've just purchased, but I have got a lot of plans in mind for them. So I hope you can stay tuned for that. Now I've got to say a huge thank you to everyone that has subscribed because you've just pushed me over that three and a half thousand um, subscriber number. So thank you so much for that. I appreciate it more than anything. I would love it if you haven't already subscribed to uh, hit that little red subscribe button and the notification bell. I'm really thrilled at how the uh, channel has progressed in the last six months and uh, the more people, the more sewers, uh, the more sewing creative minded people we get on here, the better. I think it just creates a fantastic community of like-minded people we can all share and I'll, I'm loving the the comments and suggestions that I'm getting from, uh, from everybody after each episode too because that really uh, inspires and encourages me to keep making more for you. Now, if you're curious about what I'm wearing today, I have I've got the Maven Patterns Rochester dress on. This actually comes in a dress or a blouse version. It's a lovely style and I'll give you a, a bit of a look, a bit of a twirl. Got the tie at the front. I've never made a Maven Patterns pattern before. I have seen that they have got a really popular style apron on there, the Maria apron with the crossover back. They've also got a uh, new top out this last season called the Somerset Tee and a lot of people had uh, raved about how beautiful that pattern fitted as well. So yeah, the, um, the Rochester dress is more for a drapey light fabric. So I'm going to talk you through some plans that I've got and some fabric that I have accumulated over the last couple of weeks. Now I know I did uh, mention in my previous fabric haul that I was very keen to make some jeans. I do have the ginger jeans patterns put aside. I'm about to start the dawn jeans first because I wanted to try a non-stretch version. I'd heard so much good feedback about the dawn jeans. So I've got a couple of bottom weight fabric. So I've got the pattern from May Design from Victoria, which is um, an online fabric store with some beautiful high-end uh, fabrics and patterns that I'm sure you will love. They do have a range of CU at six fabrics coming out this week and a gorgeous range of French terries as well. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what they get in for winter. The Dawn Jeans patterns, Megan Nielsen. I did get from Spotlight some bottom weight, um, just some heavy jean denim fabric, nice medium indigo blue, and a pinwheel wide cord. So they're both non stretch. Really excited to try these jeans. When the denim came, it was extremely stiff. Now, I had heard, I think it was Tomcat Stitchery, uh, had mentioned about putting Coca Cola in the wash. And it's something you just think, it doesn't sound quite right. I thought, well, I've got nothing to lose. I know that um, people swear by it. I pre-washed the denim. I put some Coca-Cola, probably about a quarter of a can in the, where the fabric softener dispense a bit in the washing machine was. And they did, they came out a lot softer. It's just changed the feel of the fabric so much. So yeah, try the Coca-Cola method. I don't know what it is that does it, but apparently it's, it works wonders for softening denim. Now the pattern I bought from May Designs was the Megan Nielsen Jarra sweater. I've also seen some great feedback on this. I'm really excited to try it. Now to go with this, I actually ordered some uh, lovely French terries from Wattle Hill Fabrics. It's another Australian online fabric store. If you haven't tried it before, I will link these stores just so you guys can have a look on their uh, fantastic online stores, especially at the moment. They're still packaging and delivering everything. Now, isn't it lovely when you get a delivery and you open it up and you get a lovely special treat or a special note, um, this makes it so much more personal. There was actually a little T2, which is a great um, Australian brand of tea that we have here that everyone loves. It's uh, an English breakfast little sachet with, um, thanks Kristen, stay safe. I thought that was a really lovely little personal touch. Always love getting a little personalized treat in uh, fabric orders. Now the first fabric I got was a lovely French terry. It's a lovely weight. It's actually got a beautiful grape colour with um, a floral, all the autumnal colours through it. I just think it's absolutely stunning. I think this would make a perfect Jarrah sweater. I'll give you guys a look up close so you can see. The, uh, the pattern is stunning in that and that they're all my colours of course. You, everyone knows how much I love the autumn colours but I think that will make a really really pretty Jarrah sweater. And another one I got from them was in a teal colorway with the autumnal print as well. And I was thinking about either making another Jarrah sweater or even the I am zebra or I am lion pattern. Um, that would come up really beautiful. Just the perfect weight for this time of year. It's enough warmth that you don't need too much layering, but um, light enough to wear around the house without it being too warm. So yeah, really, really nice fabric. Um, the colours, of course, my favourite teal colour. 
So really, really pretty print in that. And another fabric I ordered from Waddle Hill was a lovely self-quilted, um, diamond self-quilted, uh, it's almost a chartreuse, but it's got like a slight mull uh, throughout it as well. So it gives it like that tiny bit of a brown flick through it as well. I just think this will make a gorgeous cardigan. I'm thinking about making the ready to sew Jamie cardigan with some nice big chunky bamboo buttons that I've seen on Arrow Mountain buttons on Etsy. And that, yeah, I'll just give you a look up close, the color in that. I think that will go back with quite a few colors and you'll notice even in the, uh, the other prints I've got, I think that really lends itself nicely to be a good basic cardigan color and something different than what I've already got. Um, normally people go for gray marl or a black or a navy, but I think this is a really nice um, change. So very pretty. A couple more patterns in the Alia Max sale because they did have a great uh, Wacky Wednesday all week sale with free and $1 patterns and also 60% off their whole range of patterns. So I had been told by Lynn, I think had told me, um, one of my subscribers had mentioned the Autumn Spice Top. Now correct me if I'm wrong Lynn, but I think it was you that told me this is a great pattern for using up off cuts of your jerseys that you don't quite have enough to make a whole top. Um, and that you'll see how you can splice the fabric and color block it I just think um, would be a fantastic pattern to use if you just have that little bit of fabric it's not quite enough to make a whole top so very excited to try that I love a curved hem I love that long curved hem with the side splits as well and also another Alia Mac dress which is the wrapped in love it's a long maxi dress in a knit and it has got a, a quite a nice wrapped style front with the side split come up really nicely um, and an, a kind of adaptable dress you could wear you can make it in the summer short sleeve or a long sleeve for winter to layer now a few weeks back i had a lovely teal um lawn fabric from spotlight that everyone uh, had got online and i know a lot of you had uh, mentioned that you wanted to purchase it. it was a swiss dot lawn and i will link that fabric below as well so you can see this one is the same variety of fabric in a beautiful gray almost with khaki um, undertones in it and that lovely um, peach color flower i just think it's going to look gorgeous for winter and I will show you up close the colors in that. And I'm thinking that. of making either another Jules blouse or another um, PM pattern, which was that floaty style um, scoop neck pattern. There's also another gorgeous pattern from PM with a high neck with the frills around the shoulder and around the neck. It just looks stunning on the model there. So that's another thought for that fabric. If you've got any good blouse patterns that you can recommend, please uh, comment below. I'd love to hear what they are. Now a couple of more patterns that I, I got from the Alimac website would be the Floral Dreams tank pattern which is another freebie as well that I got last week. So don't forget to look at that um, Wacky Wednesday sale. And another free pattern I know that uh, a lot of people have spoken about wanting to sew up last week was the Tazudi apron pattern which has got quite a bit of publicity online to being a fantastic looking pattern that you could wear not only for an apron but you could wear it as a ready to wear clothing I think almost like a pinafore you can probably hack it into a pinafore style now if you're like me and you want something comfortable to wear to bed I personally like a knit fabric for bed I like uh, I do love a beautiful pajama but I find that I reach more for knit fabrics rather than wovens they're just sort of easier to sleep in I decided to buy some fabrics from spotlight last week they're really nice the organic jersey cotton um, this one in particular I love the the print in that so that's going to be a nighty and I'm looking at either the Love Notions Namaste nighty or just even doing my own self-drafted nighty. The other so. fabric I got to make a long sleeve nighty as well was the lovely Mustard Brights. So yeah I tend to go for brights right throughout my wardrobe not just with clothing but pyjamas and nighties as well. Why not be bright and vibrant for going to bed? I've actually got plans to make another Suki robe for winter as well. And I know last year I did show a very easy Vogue zip up dressing gown pattern that can be made in fleece. That fabric is on its way. I'm gonna show you guys as soon as it arrives. And I know we all laughed and joked about being that whole granny looking dressing gown, but you know what, if it's warm and comfortable and I'll wear it, I'm gonna just put up with looking like a grandma because I just think personally, the warmth and comfort will really override any style issues with that. I'm going to put a big chunky zip in the front as well so make it really wearable. The mustard fleece that I've got coming from Lincraft has actually got a bobbly pattern through it as well so I'm kind of thinking the gold mustard colour would look nice for sleepwear with these two. So 
fingers crossed that will work out really well. Now, I did speak about being a bit naughty and making another fabric purchase that I haven't even unwrapped yet. Um, Tazuti Fabrics, everyone knows how much I love the Liberty Fleece, Linford Fleece fabrics. This one in particular, I picked up the last remnant, which was 75 centimetres, and I thought I could do something with that, with this, even if it's just the front of a, of a top, and I can do colour block with the back and the sleeves in a, in a coordinating colour. But we'll, we'll wait and see how much I have. So, Let's unwrap this and see what I've got because I actually haven't seen it in person. I'll send it online. So this is called Tree of Eden. It's a Liberty Linford Fleece. And yeah, gorgeous colorway. I love the quality of the Liberty Fleece. It's a bit of a luxury item. You can treat yourself maybe a couple of pieces each season with and just wear it to death, make it something really special that you will get the wear out of. Um, I just love the, um, I love the illustration on these. It's just absolutely stunning colors and just the vibrant looking uh, coral colors with that nice apple green and the teal i just think it's beautiful i do love the look of that botanic that um vintage botanic looking illustration if i see it on uh, prints um, i really am quite drawn to it and in particular if i see it in fabric it's even better um, and to have it with some brights i just think it's going to come up gorgeous so that one um, I'm thinking either of making the Jarrah sweater and maybe putting different colour sleeves on. I'm going to really have a look and see how much I can get out of this. Of course, I won't want to waste any of this fabric at all. It's, um, yeah, it's really quite special. So thank you. I got that last little bit from Tazuti and they, they posted it quite quickly, which was fantastic. So. I've got to say, I absolutely love how Tazuti wrap up their fabric orders and you get a little Tazuti label to put in your me made item as well. I think it's quite special. So yeah, I, I love um, I love getting things from Tazuti. You just feel very special like you've bought yourself a nice little gift to treat yourself. I've still got quite a few plans of things that I want to make that I haven't found the right fabric for as yet, but I've got plenty to keep me busy here. I'm going to try and get a lot of this made up for you in the near future so you guys can see how that fabric's going to look made up in a pattern. Um, if there's anything in particular or any episode you'd like me to do, please comment below and I'll be really happy to um, to make an episode if it's something that you guys are all really wanting. I get so many ideas from my subscribers and from my people just watching and commenting and I think it really helps me to, to see, to gauge where we're all at and what we all want to see made and heading into different seasons as well. I'm going to try and keep everyone in the Northern Hemisphere happy with some things that I've made from winter and vice versa so we all have some transitional pieces as well that work for us. Thank you so much for watching and for your fantastic comments because they do keep inspiring me to make more videos. Um, that we can all enjoy and have our sewing talk each week. I will see you very shortly for the next episode on the Dahlia Society. Bye for now.